What is going on everyone? I am interested for welcome to race 436 of the NR 2003 Winston Cup Series. Today we're at the Alain Motor Speedway for the running of the Alain 500. So I on the pole will be the 2 car 10 feet long on the outside will be Justin Perry in the 17 car. Let's give the command to start these engines for 33 laps here at Atlanta. Drivers, start your engines! And as the uh, engines have fire, let's check the starting lineup. Tim Fiegel will start on the pole with just the period to its outside. Row 2, we have Dome Caps and Daniel Smith in the AA car. Row 3, we have Zoe Mudd in the third car of James Dunn. In row 4, we have Steven Gonzalez and Joshua Balkiewicz. I keep misspelling his name. And in row 5, we have William Cervantes and Tyler Prudente. Tim Welch, last week's winner, will start 11th. And Daytona 500 winner will start in the very back. He will start 41st, along with the 20 car of Ryan Richards. So it's going to be 33 laps here. Beautiful day here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Ricky Kennedy actually will actually uh, start in a 40th. My mistake. I thought it was 41st, but it's 40th. So miscalculation there. Two Lombard brothers are starting in the same row. The Garrett 17th and 18th. Joseph Lombard 17th. Zachary Lombard 18th. Well, folks, the pace car is going to be pulling off here. Beautiful day here in Atlanta Motor Speedway today. The pace car is off. 33 laps here at Atlanta. Tim Fiegel and Justin Perry will lead the field down to the green flag. Here we go. The, the green flag is out and we are underway here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Already, Dome Caps passing Tim Fiegel for the race lead. And Zoe Mudd going for second. Steven Gonzalez falling right behind him. Watch this bow for second as Dome Caps is going to lead the first lap. Here we go, three wide battle. William Cervantes, Daniel Smith, and Justin Perry. It's pretty tight, too. Looks like Justin Perry's going to be falling back. Oh, almost four wide back there. Down the back straightaway. Anyway, we got Bow up here for third. Steven Gonzalez trying to pass Tim Fiegel. Three wide back there. Looks like Steven Gonzalez cannot get the job done. Dome Caps is leaning. Zoe Mudd second. Tim Fiegel third. Here we go. Another good battle back here. 77 car William Cervantes trying to go for the fifth spot. Look at the bow back there out in the pack racing. There's Tim Welch in the 49 car, the winner from Las Vegas. Trying to get in the mix. William Cervantes gets fifth. Here comes Tim Welch trying to get sixth. Oh, here we go. Got a bow for the lead here. Pretty close though. Zoe Mudd trying to get around dumb caps. Oh, look at this back here. Oh, very tight. Thought that I thought at first there was gonna be a wreck. Oh, there was almost there. The 30 car got of uh, the 30 car of James Dunn got in the back of the old one car of Jaron Calabitan. Meanwhile, back up front. It looks like Zoe Mudd doesn't have the opportunity right now to pass. Still bow for fifth. Look at this. Tim uh Jaron Calabitan and Tim Welch. Still got battles behind them as well. Great battles. Back up towards the front. Nothing's happening up front. Just wanted to make sure. Oh, here we go. Another three wide. Oh, almost. Tim Walsh almost got turned by Daniel Smith there. Meanwhile, nothing going on up front. I have to make sure if we don't have any side-by-side -side battles towards the front. While I'm looking back here. Justin Perry trying to go for the ninth spot on Daniel Smith. Oh, back there in the very back. Looks like there wants to be a wreck. 
Nothing much up front. Oh man. Comes Caleb Phillips battling for the 12th spot on uh, the 97 car of Ryan Marin. And he does take it. Oh, here we go. Tim Fiegel looking for second on Zoe Mudd. Could not get the job done. Still right up her bumper. Steven Gonzalez watching behind. Dome Caps is watching what's behind his mirror. So far, oh, here comes Tim Figo trying again. Here he comes. He's got a better run this time. Can he take second? Looked like he did have, oh, yeah. No. Looked like Tim, oh, you know, but then Zoe Mudkai went up the track a bit. Now he's got the run. Now Tim Fig. Oh, I don't think so. These are three great buds right here. Up 10. Anyway, look back here. Tim Welch. Passing for six, seven. Oh, look at that run Daniel Smith got on the inside. Trying to pass him for the seventh spot. Here comes uh, William Cervantes in the 77 car as well. Oh, here we go. Bow, bow for second again. Tim Finkel trying again on Zoe Mudd. Looks like I got a better shot this time. This is for sure going to get him. Look at Jared Calabin, the 01 car, joining in the mix. Oh, and almost making the three wide. I would thought better of that, too. Looks like Tim Figo finally going to get second away from Zoe Mudd. Meanwhile, back here, bow for fifth or fourth. Jaron Calabinen. Man. Top ten running award. Dawn Caps, Tim Figo, Zoe Mudd, Stephen Gonzalez, Jaron um, Calabinen, um, James Dunn, Daniel Smith, J Justin Perry, William Cervantes, and Joseph Lombard are in the top 10 in the running order so far. It's Jaron Calabinen is trying to pass for the fifth on James Dunn. Still trying to get by him. Looks like he's finally going to do it this time. So Jared Calabin goes to fifth. Trying to look for some more battles. Here goes Robert Hain. Trying to pass Tim Welch. This is for the 14th. Twenty laps to go. Look at this battle back here. Here we go, got bow up towards the front. Looks like James Dunn tried again on Jaron Calabin. Could not do it. Daniel Smith is getting closer. Up towards the front. On lap 15, Dome Caps in 31 car. Tim Figo second. Zoe Mudd in third. Jaron Calabin and trying to get underneath Steven Gonzalez for the fourth spot. Here we go. Zoe Mudd looking to the inside for second spot on Tim Fiegel. Trying. 18 laps to go. It's a great battle up here. Jaron Calabinen looking for fourth as well in the 01 car. Dome Caps is pulling away from this field. If they keep running side by side, Dome Caps is going to get away. I am literally surprised there hasn't been any cautions yet this season. By the way these people are racing, I'm really surprised. 
So Zoe Mutt finally gets second. Here comes Jaron Calabin and trying to go for third on Tim Fiegel. He's trying to give it out Steven Gonzalez first. Wow, and he just dives it down in there. Looks like Steven Gonzalez trying to get the four spot away. Tim Figo is falling back. You see Steven Gonzalez trying to go underneath Tim Figo for the um, fifth spot. Fourth spot, I should say. Look at the six card pack here. This might be a mess here. Jim Stone wants to make it three white, but bet he's thinking better of it. I would. So we got 15 laps to go. Steven Gonzalez trying to go for, still trying to go for um, for fifth on James Dunn. And you see Joe Salama trying to go for the eighth spot. Here we go. Got out for a second. Here comes Jaron Calabin. I tell you what, Jaron Calabin is moving up towards the front. He wants to win this race. He might have a shot. He's having a great run today. Remember Danny Wells in, at Las Vegas? Remember he started in the mid pack and then he came all his way up into the top ten. And took the win or took the top five by mistake. Oh, oh. That, oh, oh, that's not a vehicle I want to, oh, well, I'm messing up, oh, okay, whoops, sorry guys, bad cameraman, whoa, Joseph Lombard almost got turned by Caleb Phillips, that shot him up the race run, and here comes Caleb Phillips for the nice spot, wow, Joseph Lombard almost got turned, I saw his car wiggle, here we go, back up towards the front. Here comes Dome Caps. Or Jerry, James Dunn trying to go for the fourth spot. Cannot do it. You know what? It's getting closer up front. 12 laps to go. Here comes James Dunn once again trying to look on the inside. I mean, trying and trying. 11 to go. James Dunn still trying to pass Tim Figgle. I tell you what, it is hard to pass here, I will say, because that high lane could go. It looks like James Dunn finally gets fourth. Here comes Steven Gonzalez for fifth. Steven Gonzalez still trying to go for fifth, trying to get top five. Ten laps to go. Let's look up front. Here comes for second spot. Jaron Calabinen trying to go for the second spot on Zoe Mudd. And Dome Caps is once again going to pull away because of this. Oh, three wide back here. Hang on. We got to look at this. This could be a mess. This could be a mess. Look at this pack right here. This is going to be a mess. How are they not wrecking? Oh, my God. Nine to go, this time by. Sorry we're not looking up towards the front because this is getting interesting. Oh, three by three right now. Oh, man. Alright, but see, in all seriousness. So Jerry Calabinin goes for second. Oh, oh, James Dunn almost gets into Zoe Mudd. Zoe Mudd's falling back. That's a battle for third. James Dunn, going for third. Trying to get around him. Eight laps to go. Meanwhile, look at here, up towards the front. Jaron Calabin's getting really close. He's getting right up his bumper. We could have an exciting finish like we normally see here in Atlanta. James Dunn finally got third. Two-car breakaway now. Here comes Jaron Calabin. Looking to the inside of Dome Caps. Or trying. Trying to go for the race lead. Dome Caps has led most of the race. 
might lose the lead. This is going to be exciting fish. He's right up his bumper. Right up his bumper. Oh, oh, oh man. This is getting exciting. Six laps to go here at Atlanta. Here comes Jerry Calabin once again. He's right up there. He's going to try and look to the race lead. Cannot do it here. You know why? If they keep getting side by side, here comes James Dunn. He's going to get into the mix. This could get interesting. And Zoe Mudge trying to get into the mix as well. She's somewhere back there. Coming to five laps to go here. Dom Caps leading. Jared Calabin second. James Dunn third. Zoe Mudd fourth. Daniel Smith fifth. Caleb Phillips sixth. Co Cody Lama seventh. Steven Gonzalez eighth. Joseph Lama ninth. And William Cervantes rounds up the top ten. It's basically four cars less than a second from each other. Six tens. And then you got fifth through on back. Two seconds behind. Four laps to go. Jaron Calabin has got a better run here, I believe. Here he goes for the race lead. Does he have enough? He's going to give... Oh, man. No, don't have it this time either. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. It is getting extremely close. Here comes James Dunn for second. James Dunn wants to win this race. If they run side by side, Dome Caps is going to get away. And Zoe Mars is going to get up here. Well, I don't want anyone to make a mistake now because it's getting exciting. Look at three wide. Zoe Mudd tried to make it three wide. Could not do it. Down the Bash Railway with three laps to go. Zoe Mudd's going to try and make it three wide. Never mind. Dome Caps is pulling away. It looks like that's all he needs to win this race. You know, the 31 and 30 car are teammates. Two to go. James Dunn finally got second, but the problem is he he was or uh, no, Jared Calabin is still hanging up on the outside. Just cannot get there. Just cannot do it, folks. He tried and tried. Well, we're coming to the white flag this time. By there, you see Dome Caps, the race leader, is going to take the white flag. We're on the final lap here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Look at that. About half a second. And James Dunn still trying to go for second on Jaron Calabinin. That's all Jaron Calabinin need. Or Dom Caps needs to win this race. Down the back straight for final time into turn three. Coming out of turn four. Dom Caps in the 31 singular wireless Chevrolet. It's going to take the win here in the Atlanta 500, Atlanta Motor Speedway. Jared Calabin holds off James Dunn for second, James Dunn third, Zoe Mudd fourth, Caleb Phillips fifth. So congratulations to Dome Caps on winning the Atlanta 500 here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. I would say exciting race. Dome Caps was the dominator today. He dominated this race and he deserves to win this race. Great performance by him. As the cars head down pit road, let's sh show you the finishing results, shall we? Dome Caps wins today's Land 500. Jaron Calabin second. James Dunn third. Zoe Mudd fourth. Caleb Phillips fifth. Um, Cody Lama sixth. Daniel Smith seventh. Joseph Lamar eighth. William Savantes ninth. And Joseph Perry rounds up top ten. Steven Gonzalez eleventh. Tim Figo twelfth. Dylan Young thirteenth. Ryan Merritt fourteenth. Danny Wells fifteenth. Ricky Candy, 17th. And rounding out the top 20 is Bruce Viviani. 21st is RJ Bishop. 22nd is Zachary Lombard. 24th is Ty Nauta. 25th is Seth Cole. 26th is Je Jesse O'Gain. 27th is Jesse Kohler. 29th is Charles Jackson. And rounding up 30th is Mike West. Um, 31st on back is Joshua Mudd, 31st. Dylan Poteet, 32nd. Ryan Richards, 33rd. James Silver Fox, 35th. Brian Pasternak, 37th, Cole Daly, 38th, Tyler Prudente, 39th, and Adam Akers rounds out 40th. Joshua Collard, 41st, and rounding out last is t um, Trent Dunham rounding up last. So, 
Congratulations to Dumb Caps on winning the Atlanta 500. As you can see on the bottom right corner is the point standings. Caleb Phillips is now winning the point standings by 43 points over Dumb Caps. Dumb Caps is now second in points. Um, Steven Gonzalez is fifth in points, 81 back. And rounding out the top 10 points, and Trent Dunham was the points leader coming to this race, but he dropped big today. He is now 10th in points, 113 back. Well, folks, the next race is going to be at Darlington Raceway for the running of the Carolina Dodgers 400. I will see you at Darlington.